Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative, the creator of the Divi Dynamic Helper plugin. In this video, we're going to cover the documentation for setting up custom fields. As we go through this video, we will be following along with the written guide. So be sure to go ahead and have this open. So most customers who purchase the Divi Dynamic Helper plugin probably already know a little bit about custom fields, but it's okay if you don't. This guide will introduce you to what custom fields are and how you can use them in WordPress. Now there are two main ways that you can set up custom fields within WordPress. The first would be using the built-in custom fields. That's actually a feature of WordPress. It's kind of hidden and I'll show you how to enable those. The second and usually a better option would be to use a custom field plugin. So a lot of the features, it will be more helpful if you use a plugin such as advanced custom fields. Now I also wanna point out that we have other documentation guides here on the site. So if you're setting up a video module or an audio module or a gallery module or a map module, be sure to follow along with those guides you know, based on whichever module you're setting up. And that'll give you a lot more information about which custom fields are supported and which methods are the best. In this guide, it's going to be a lot more general. And in fact, a lot of you could probably just skip this one because it's just this introduction to custom fields and you may already know enough about that. We'll start by looking at the built-in custom fields. And so I'm going to be working in a demo website and I'm going to show you exactly how to do what the written instructions say here. So over here in my demo website, I'm just going to go to this sample page and I'm going to click on edit to enable the custom fields. Go up here to the top right corner, click on this options menu. Now you can see that at the very bottom of this menu, it says preferences. Click on that. Now that in this pop-up, over here, there's some tabs, click on panels. And there you can see custom fields and you can clearly see that it's not enabled by default. So go ahead and enable that. Now this button appears, enable and reload. So go ahead and click on that. Basically, since we've enabled this feature, it needs to reload the page so that these can appear. So here the custom fields are, they appear below your content and by default, they're it's one here that's empty. So I could go ahead and give this a name, you know, my custom field name, and then a value. So for a value, this would be something like, let's say I'm setting up a video module. Well, then I would want to put in a URL to, let's say a YouTube video, and I would just paste it right here. So I just went to my channel and grabbed a URL there. Now I can click on add custom field. Once you have it added, you can see that I can delete it or update it, and then we can add more. So again, these custom fields are fairly limited, but they do work well for a lot of things such as audio, video. They can even work for doing a gallery, which we'll show you, and they can even work for um, a map if you put in the address. But like we'll get to, we're gonna show you much better methods as well. But this is an overview of how you can enable the custom fields and you can use names here whichever name you write here will appear in Divi when you're adding the dynamic content to from the module to this field when you're connecting those so what about custom field plugins to do this let's go ahead and take a look at what is available so I'm gonna go here to plugins add new and I'm just gonna type in custom fields and see what comes up so right away, you can see some of the popular ones. Right here is Advanced Custom Fields. That has over 2 million active installations. Um, Metabox is another one that has over 700,000 at the time of this recording. And Pods is another one that has 100,000 at the time of this recording. And there are others, Smart Custom Fields and um, Custom Field Suite, and there's all these things. Another one that's paid would be Toolset that's popular. So there's a lot of options. The ones that I will be working with the most or will be recommending the most will be advanced custom fields, pods, and Metabox, and even Toolset that works well too. 
Advanced Custom Fields is what we will be using when we show you how to use a gallery, which is a very cool feature. So because I'm going to be using that and I'll also be using it for the maps, um, let's go ahead and install Advanced Custom Fields. But in general, a lot of these work the exact same way. They just have some little differences. But specifically, our gallery dynamic content and our maps dynamic content will work with Advanced Custom Fields. All right, so once it's installed, over here on the left-hand side will be a menu, Custom Fields. So if you click on that, you'll come here where it says Field Groups. So a field group is just how it sounds, a group of fields, or it could just be one field, but either way, it has to be a field group. So if I wanna add custom fields to a page or post, I first have to make a field group. So I'll click on Add New and give it a title. So let's say, you know, um, whatever module I'm working with, I could name it according to that, or I could name it something descriptive, you know, based on your website, you're gonna have something in mind to name this. Just gonna give it a generic name for now. And then here's a button that says add field. So this is a basic process. You click on add field and this opens up, give it a field name. So let's say I'm going to do a video. I wanna put a video from uh, YouTube. So I could say YouTube video, right? And then the next thing you would wanna do is field type. So text will work for uh, some things. I'm gonna go ahead and choose URL, I think. You need URL for the YouTube videos because it is a URL. Um, you can say if it's required or not by you know whoever is putting in the data into your field. But that's it. Then the name it automatically will generate this. So you're you're worried about the label and the field type. Okay. All right, and then that's it. The next thing would be location. So first you need to decide well, which pages or posts do you want this field to show up on. So you could choose by post type, if it's always a post, or I could say any page on my site. I could go down here and say, you know, uh, um, pages that have a certain taxonomy, a certain category, you know, based on user, all these things, right? And that's up to you. You can kind of arrange that however you want. So I think for, for this test, I'm going to just make this field. You can collapse it like that. I could add new. But for this, I'm going to show the location on the post type page and then hit publish. Now I can go ahead and go back to that page and we'll take a look at the custom field there. So here you can see, you can see the name Divi Dynamic Helper that I gave it and you can see the label YouTube video and you can see that it is a URL field. So that's as simple as it is. I would paste in the URL and then update. And now when I go into my module, the video module, I could link the video module using our plugins uh, little icon and connect it to that field and it will show whichever video you put into this field. So for some of the other things, like I mentioned, a gallery, we're going to be using a different type of field. We're going to, you know, we'll say something like this and then we're going to actually add a, a group, if I can find it right here, group. A group is kind of how it sounds, a group of fields. And then within that group, we'll add fields. And this is exactly the same. So I could say like image one. So it's like a group of images. And then here I would choose image. So label and then field type, right? Be the same exact way that you're adding regular fields, but these are inside this group. So I could do it again, image two. And oh, I forgot to pick uh, image type. And also if I was doing a map, I could come in here and say map, and then say, choose, um, where is it? Google map right there. And that's gonna give me um, a different view in the back end. Let me just show you that real quick, and then we'll be done. Go back to that page. Here you can see that I have added, here's the YouTube video, here's the gallery image one and two. I can go ahead and just go pick an image, which is great. I can go to my media library or upload it. Just select the images. And again, those will show in the gallery module based on our plugin, okay? Or this map, you know, after you have your API key, this will look a lot better. But I could search for an address and, you know, do that and the address will show with a pin in the map module, all right? So that's pretty much an overview 
of custom fields, setting those up. As we get into the other guides, like on using you know the video, audio, map, and gallery modules specifically, I'll be setting up these custom fields so you won't have to worry about that. We'll cover everything in detail in those guides as well. But for this guide, that's it. We hope you've enjoyed it, and we hope you enjoy using the Divi Dynamic Helper plugin.